have a bunch of prizes up for grabs. Tikini River Ranch also just donated a $400 food basket that's up for a door prize as well. Four? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I'm going to do a draw for a $50 gift card to La Petite Maison. And the number is 192. Who has got 192? You probably have to be, you're bound to be here. 192. And the next one for 192. Yay, right there, La Petite Maison. Just kidding. All right. Oh, I had one in my hand and I put it back in the basket. Oh, whoops. One, four, four. One, four, four. One, four, four. If you're a winner, just. One, four, four. Yeah? Come on up. Oh yeah, okay, he won. All right, I'm gonna do the two keychains. So, two keychains. Okay, for the keychains, we have 175 and 178. If you're number 175 or 178, that is your cue to come up and get your beautiful copper caribou keychain at the same table. Awesome, there we go. So I'm gonna hold off for the food basket and I'm also gonna hold off for the Air North basket. That'll be later. We're gonna get to some of the fun stuff now. So desserts being brought out. I hope you guys have enjoyed that meal. There was salmon, there was steak, there was potatoes. Totally amazing. So this is very exciting to be announcing the winners for tonight's gala event. And I'm gonna be doing it on my phone. So, I've got Melissa telling me stuff at the same time, so hopefully I'll get all the messages clear. If I do mix up something, bear with me. I have, I, I ate a lot of food and I was worried about my pants and I was worried the story's gonna get convoluted and people are gonna go, the MC was like 500 pounds. And I just ate all that food and I was like, oh my God, I have to like suck it in because I hope tomorrow I'm not gonna have to bring these pants to the free store. They're my favorite pair. All right, you guys laugh, but it's like the struggle is real. I'm gonna be running around for gophers this spring. All right. So everyone, welcome to the Indigenous Investment Conference Awards Ceremony of 2021. It is so awesome to see everybody in person. Isn't it crazy to be passing around wine and passing around cheese boards and seeing everybody's beautiful faces and their teeth? You guys look so amazing tonight. It is very, very awesome to see everybody just all, all the ladies are looking beautiful as always and the men are looking very dapper tonight, had to say that. Everyone looks so fabulous tonight and I'm so excited to be hosting up here for this award ceremony. So we have a little bit of a hybrid award ceremony happening. Some presentations will be virtual, 
some people are here tonight and we're so honored to have the winners here tonight and we are so honored to have the winners who actually put together some films uh, that we're going to be presenting at the front as well and before i start if you were not part of the aiic conference for the past two days you probably would not have signed up on the app so to see everything that is up for the silent auction, we're going to put a link up. And if you guys want to look at that link really quick, we have until 9.30 to make bids on the silent auction. And I'll remind you that all of the money from this auction, there it is, is going to be going to a scholarship that YFNCC has put together that will be implemented in 2023. So all the money that you, yeah, round of applause for them for doing that. That's awesome. So everything from the silent auction will be going towards that scholarship. So if you want to take a picture of that and check out everything that's up on there, there's some really cool stuff on there. And I know I've heard over the past two days, people were trying to outbid each other, which is a good thing, because that means more funds for the scholarship, right? Am I right? I know a couple people who are bidding, so I was like, oh, I should go on there and just outbid them. because. All right, so if you have taken a picture of that, yes, we're good. Take a picture while you can. No photos of me, though. No photos. I don't want to be on Facebook. Just kidding. All right. No, I'm serious. I don't want to be on Facebook. Just kidding. Tag me. Luke Campbell from Chevelle. All right, so let's get to the awards ceremony. And I'm just going to check if our IT is ready to go. All right. Exciting. This first award is sponsored by Victoria Gold Corp. And this is the Indigenous Youth Achievement Award for 2021. All right. Thank gosh Melissa's there. So the awards are very, very cool, and they are made by Lumel Studios. So before we get to that, we're going to show you a quick little video of how the awards were made. So that's where we're going to go to really quick. It's a really awesome video, and then we'll get to the awards, I promise. We're getting there. So I'll let IT do their thing.
Have any of you guys been there to Lumel Studios? Yeah? One of my friends went there recently on a hot date, and now I'm just jealous. I wanna go on, I wanna go there. But it'll just be me though. Bye, Mama. Maybe I'll invite my mom for Mother's Day. All right, so we're getting to the fun part. Now I'm on track. Melissa put me back on track. So, for our first award, which is sponsored by Victoria Gold Corp, for the Indigenous Youth Achievement Award, there are three winners. For our first winner from Alaska, whose business is Coffee and Quag, Alice Glenn. We at Sasebeo would like to thank the Divine for this humble opportunity to be part of a business venture that has helped us move forward in the direction that we would like to move in. I would like to also recognize our board of directors for making the decision to move in the direction that takes us to where we are, and helps us make the decisions that need to be made through their guidance and decisions that we are allowed to, to go forth with making the opportunities that those of us on the corporate level can execute. I would also like to take a special moment to recognize Hello, Parla Rivsi, Uvanga Kanik. My name is Alice Kanik Glenn. Inupia Gurunga, Utkervig Mugurunga. I'm Inupia. I was born and raised in Utkervig, which is the northernmost city in the United States. Savaktunga Kuperlu Kwarlumi. I work and host and produce my podcast titled Coffee and Kwak to celebrate and explore contemporary native life in urban Alaska. I say coffee to keep us woke and kwak to represent um, examining our topics through an Alaska native lens. Kwak is the Inupiaq word for frozen or raw meat or fish. When I first started this podcast, I set out with the mission of sharing accurate and authentic Alaska native representation in media, specifically podcast media. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I just totally went for it. As a product of the 90s and early 2000s, I was disappointed to see such negative, dated, or sensationalized coverage about Alaska Native life um, when I came back home from college. Uh, I had expected and learned to live with that outside of Alaska, but I didn't expect it when I came back home. From this, I drew inspiration from the most beautiful and brilliant young Alaska Native people I met and reconnected with my first year back home. Because of this, I'm honored to accept the Indigenous Youth Achievement Award from the Yukon First Nation Chamber of Commerce. I accept this award on behalf of all the amazing Indigenous thinkers, doers, and change makers that I interviewed for Coffee and Kwak. Koyanakbuk, you all, um, thank you so much for the endless work that you do for our community. You all are the real MVPs. Thank you again to the Yukon First Nations Chamber of Commerce for this recognition and opportunity to speak. And with that, I'll leave you all with one of my favorite quotes I read, I read off the internet somewhere. I love being indigenous. It's dangerous, but it's lit. Koyunakbuk, <laughs> everyone, thank you. The next winner from Northwest Territories, Gray's Harvest, Lance Gray. Hi, uh, my name is Lance Gray of Gray's Harvest here in Inuvik Northwest Territories. Um, uh, Gray's Harvest is a business that me and my partner started in 2020. Uh, it was just based on us loving to go out and harvest ourselves and process things and learn things that we learn about the things that were around us. So uh, as the year went by, we were sharing with friends, sharing the processes, the products that we we're making for ourselves and that's when they said, hey, why aren't you guys selling? So then, uh, yeah, uh, my girlfriend got um, me motivated to start trying to get this thing going. And she put a bunch of work into getting the business off the ground. And uh, we also got into a program with Entrepreneur for um, basically learning to be an entrepreneur and run your own business. So 
the business itself is just that uh, harvesting products and making edible things and consumable things i guess so the main thing we do right now is tea and our main one is the fireweed tea uh, and we do blends with that so uh, for the perceivable future, it'll likely just be teas, but anything that's harvestable and processable out there will likely be doing things with those. So stay tuned for that. Um, this award is uh, comes as a surprise because, like I said, we are fairly new. So it's it just inspires me because it shows that this base that we've created is is right. You know, it, it's it's a good thing, and we need to keep going with it. So. It's mostly just a big inspiration and a big thank you for that. So with that, also thank you to my girlfriend, to the family and friends who inspired us to actually try this. Uh, Entrepreneur for being a big support and a huge, huge like asset to like me and the business and all the cohort members. So big thank you to all of you guys. Thank you so much. What an inspiring young man. The next award for the Yukon Territory, and I'm very happy to announce this, Dingy Zhu Adventures, Bobby Rose Kui. Can we see? Good afternoon, uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Bobby Rose Kui. I'm Patrick Guichen. I am the owner and operator of Dinjeju Adventures and the community coordinator, community connector for the Western Arctic Youth Collective here in the Yukon. I would like to say Masicho Hai Gwinichish for the for the for the award. Uh, when accepting the award, I don't think that I could accept this alone for its uh, it takes the community to do the work that we continue to do for the youth in our communities um, and for the youth out on the land. Uh, and when in celebrating with this award, I'd ask all the youth to also celebrate with me uh, because this award is for you as well. Um, and thanking people. Uh, there's so much people to thank. Uh, all the people have been uh, supporting and guiding me through the adventures that I've, I've been on. Um, so I just want to thank um, the biggest supporters uh, since I was a kid, uh, the elders within the communities who never ever give up, uh, who has the most patience. The young people were always showing up and organizations and community members who um, are involved in making, um, making it happen for our young people today and tomorrow. I just wanna say, when I change to the Yukon Chambers of Commerce, um, for the award, most of all, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Those three young people are going places, so I want to invite Bobby Rose up to the front to accept her award because she's here in person. So Bobby Rose, may you join me on stage? Come on, Bobby Rose. <laughs> Would you like to take a mic? Gosh, uh, that video was really hard to make, put together. Uh, 
How can I say this without crying? <sighs> this month in May, uh, celebrating one year that I, you know, I got a business license and press published on Squarespace and told the world. <laughs> I just want to acknowledge that today is the day that we remember missing and murdered Indigenous women across Canada. Um, and when, just last week when that video was made, um, that day, like in two hours before, I don't know why I did that video, uh, my, my best friend passed away. She was like only 34. Um, I'm just thankful to be here as a young indigenous woman to have a business that is bringing indigenous and non-indigenous people back to the land to realize that we are still here and we're still traveling land and I'm just so thankful that yeah, I'm here and I'm able to accept this award and I'm gonna take it back to my people and to the youth and just let them know and that if they put their heart and soul into something that they could recognize for it. And I just want to be able to make sure that I'm able to leave footprints here on the land like my ancestors did. And for Jacqueline. <laughs> who's not be able to see me get this award today. And... <laughs> Thank you. That's a joke. Amazing young people, amazing young women. So a big shout out to Victoria Gold for sponsoring the Youth Achievement Award for 2021. It was really awesome to see the three young people who are going places. And after the award ceremony, I just wanted to invite everyone who's in person, all the award winners, to go to the photo booth outside. And uh, Kathy Archibald is going to be taking photos of the award winners that are here in person. All right, so moving on to our next category, which is sponsored by Horizon Helicopters. This award is the Community Champion of the Year Award. There are three winners. Our first winner from Alaska, Seth Dayaa Corporation, David Inglés. We at Sussevay would like to thank the Divine for this humble opportunity to be part of a business venture that has helped us move forward in the direction that we would like to move in. I would like to also recognize our board of directors for making the decision to move in the direction that takes us to where we are, and helps us make the decisions that need to be made. It's through their guidance and decisions that we are allowed to, to go forth with making the opportunities that those of us on the corporate level can execute. I would also like to take a special moment to recognize our own Doug Isaacson, Minto Development Corporation, for all his hard work over the years and how he's been very productive for the corporation. And I just want to recognize him and Minto Development Corporation at this time as one of our subsidiaries. 
we are grateful and thankful for this. And we humbly accept this honor that you have given us. We appreciate your time and hope that you are all in good health. Thank you. Nabasi Sa'ashwani. Our next winner from Nunavut, Pirvik Center, Lena Evik. Greetings to you all. My name is Lena Evik, and I reside in Iqaluit, Nunavut, where I run my company, Pirvik Center, which focuses on Inuit language, culture, and well being. This recognition means a lot because of all the work that Pirvik has manifested from its original dream which has never wavered from its affiliates at the ground level. From a startup as a two-staff company in 2003, we are now a full-time certificate and diploma programming center for Inuit language enhancement and revitalization. This is a great showcase to share with the world. I'm very proud and grateful for our highly skilled team, which along with our elder professors, are making a meaningful difference for our communities. I'd like to thank all our past and current partners and funders that have helped us to reach this important milestone in our journey. And I want to extend and thank the Yukon First Nations Chamber of Commerce and everyone who put the Rupik Center forward for this award. I believe it's the business community, including our indigenous entrepreneurs, that are building our future prosperity and resilience. Indigenous entrepreneurship in the 21st century, from my Inuit perspective, is filled with hope, inspiration, reclamation, restoration, bold decisions, and the creation of space for cultural pride and indigenous vitality. Let's continue being change makers, not just out there, but right here in our community, in our own backyard. Let's celebrate our successes and let's embrace our mutual visionary goals as a business community. And let's give it a lineage mark in two decades. Thank you. Thank you. Very inspiring. Inuktitut is the funnest language. If you ever have a chance to go to Nunavut, seriously, it's fun. Yes, e, no, aga. Like, isn't that fun to say? You want some wine? E. <laughs> right? Our next winner from the Yukon Territory, Da Dagai Development Corporation, Ben Asquith. Morning, John Lavalle here from Daddy Guy Development Corp, General Manager of the Construction. And I'm Desiree. I'm Aberdeen. John Lafra. Keith from Lavalle. Corey Reimer. Tiffany Edgar Murray. Ben. Fred Cooey, Chair of the Board. We'd also just want to acknowledge uh, Andy Callahazen and Francis McGuire, who can't join us today. So on behalf of the Board of Directors of Datagai Development Corporation, I am pleased to accept this special award. We want to thank Yukon First Nations Chamber of Commerce and our nominator for this award. We also want to recognize all the other corporations that were nominated. We are proud to be involved in Yukon's vibrant economy and Data Guy Development Corporation is doing its part in involving Yukon First Nations youth in our projects. We are also pleased to partner with other Yukon Development Corporations in various business initiatives in the Yukon. We also thank the government of Yukon, Government of Canada, and our industry partners for their support. We also wish to thank Chief Lees and the Tan Kachan Council for their su continuing support. Masi Cho Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So
So I'd like to invite the two of you to come up and accept your award. Oh, it's just, oh, okay. One, two, check. No, just kidding. Oh, there's another fun one. You want some wine? Just go, check. That means hurry up. You want some wine? E, check. So the president of YFNCC will just be giving them the award. Yeah, and I'm just the designated spokesperson. <laughs> As a corporation is like a family, and you can't really operate anything. You can't operate a household. You can't operate a town. You can't operate anything without a good family. And this corporation will not run without this amazing bunch led by Ben and Tiffany and the rest of the crew. I really have to acknowledge on behalf of the board that we um, give direction and they do it. And that's all you can ask. Masicho. Huge shout out to the sponsor, Horizon Helicopters, for the Community Champion of the Year Award. Our next category is sponsored by Strategies North Advisory Incorporated for the Indigenous Entrepreneur of the Year Award. There are three winners for this award as well. Our first winner is from British Columbia, Anamiki Jeff Ward. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a video for the award winner. There is an acceptance speech, though, so I get to read it. So I'm going to read this on behalf of Jeff Ward. Thank you, Miigwech, for this honor. Much gratitude to those who put our name forward for this award. At Inimiki, we believe that investing in technology is an important path forward, not only for the economic reconciliation, but for our economic justice, self-sufficiency, and equitable outcomes for Indigenous people. We see investment in tech as a way for economic development initiatives to transition towards tech and knowledge-based economies, and we're trying to be a good example of an Indigenous tech company. We're learning along the way, and as we learn along the way, it is too easy to be so heads down that you don't take a moment to look up. Look around and be grateful for the opportunities that we have in business and in the community and with those we work with. This award today gave me personally an opportunity to take a moment, zoom out, and have gratitude for what the team at, at Animiki has built together. Thank you for this moment of gratitude and thank you for this recognition. My thanks to my team, all the Thunderbirds at Animiki, and this would not be, not be possible without you. My many thanks to my family and those in the community who have supported me. Thank you, Emmy Gwich from Jeff Ward. That was kind of different, hey? 
Kind of cool, though. For our next winner from NWT, Inuvik Eats, Shana Allen. Hi, everyone. Hi. So my name is Shana Allen. I'm from Inuvik Northwest Territories. I'm an Innovelop beneficiary, and I have two beautiful children with my long-term boyfriend. I work as a regional coordinator for the breakfast programs across the ISR. Uh, to give you a little background about Inuvik Eats, I had the vision back in 2019 to start my own food sale business. I bought my first piece of equipment, which is just a little push cart, and it had two little barbecues in it, and I sold hot dogs basically when and where I can. Um, after my first food sale, I realized I knew very little about the business, so I enrolled into the office admin program here at uh, the Aurora College. Uh, this really helped me educate myself on the financial aspects of things. In 2020, I was granted my diploma, and I think that's really when I knew that this business can launch uh, if I invest in it. Uh, so in 2021, I came across the entrepreneur program and they were hosting a food cohort. I applied and I successfully passed the interview and I was six months in the program. Um, so to date, I bought my very first food trailer and Uvic Eats has branched out in many food sales. Um, we just actually did uh, the local muskrat jamboree here. Uh, we offer food catering and cooking classes to the youth. I really want to thank my Inuvik Eats team, uh, Kyle Campbell, my boyfriend, um, my brother, Daniel Allen, and Steve Barnes. Uh, without your guys' help, I wouldn't be where I am today, so thank you guys so much. I also want to give a special shout out to my entrepreneur team, Ben Scott, Tammy Snooks, and Exena Cohen. This program really gave me confidence in delivering and educating myself in all aspects of being an entrepreneur. I would also like to thank the Yukon First Nation of Chambers and Commerce, um, honored and humbled to be accepting the Indigenous Entrepreneur of the Year for the Northwest Territory region. Thank, thank you. you. Very inspiring young person. The winner from the Yukon Takini River Ranch, Scott and Jackie Dixon, who are here today. Howdy, I'm Scott Dixon. And I'm Jackie Dixon. I'm the son of Richard Dixon and a member of the Tahan Quachin Council. Thanks for, so much for this award. It really means a lot to us. The development of the ranch has been a journey in discovery, learning, and a whole lot of work. We started Takini River Ranch in 2006. It was just a forested piece of land. We learned how to clear the land, seed and harvest before we started it into livestock. The farm now produces approximately 120,000 of both brome grass and 60,000 pounds of alfalfa grass to feed our animals. We raise Black Angus cattle, a small flock of sheep, and we bring pigs in for our roasting events. The farm now has an inspected butcher shop and commercial kitchen on site. In the butcher shop, we do handcrafted sausage and bacon. We do cut and wrap for hunters and outfitters. And we do an array of meat pies in partnership with Home Sweet Home, who does makes our homemade pastries. <laughs> Ranch offers pig roasts and rotisserie cook catering for weddings and corporate events. This is our favorite part of the business as we love seeing people enjoying our food. There are so many people on our journey that we have to thank. And we want to shout out to Chief Steve Smith of Champagne Asiac, Bob Johnson at Kwani First Nations. We really enjoyed getting those meat packages out to Burwash when the Whitehorse shelves were looking so bleak this winter. Amanda, our new chief at Ta'an Quachin, has been very supportive to both Jackie and I, and I really appreciate it. We want to send a big thank you to Mark Weikes at the Independent Store, Mike Shepard at Porter Creek Super A, Ash and Nathan at Big Way Granger, Trevor Amiot at Takini Gas, and the team at Fuel Yukon as they carry our meat pies. A shout out to Tyler Dahl at GMP Distributing as they will now be distributing our meat pies what, that we make right in the commercial kitchen on the farm from farm to freezer ready to bake. 
we want to thank every customer that supported local, supported First Nation companies. Without the stores that carry our, our product, the customers that support us. We simply would not exist. I'd like to invite Jackie and Scott up to the front to accept their award. Come on up, cousin. Chuck, no, just kidding. Don't they look so lovely tonight? Well, thank you very much. Um, you guys had a taste at lunch, our uh, lasagnas. So this morning I had to go from farmer to chef to farmer. I cut out the butcher shop because I didn't have to be a butcher today to this. <laughs> so thank you very much. Um, we were host of the entrepreneur team too, and they were great. They give us great advice. and. Uh, say thanks to all the people that voted for us and ate our food and that's how we got up here. Thank you very much. Yes. Very exciting, congratulations. And I just wanted to do another shout out to the sponsor of that award, Strategies North Advisory Incorporated. Our next award is sponsored by Cobalt Construction, and this award is the Community Spirit of the Year. There is only one winner for this award from the Yukon region, GP Distributing. Hi there, I'm Tyler Dahl, General Manager of GP Distributing. Thank you so much for this Community Spirit Award. This means so much to us as we strive to be leaders in our communities. I'd like to thank the employees of GP Distributing as they have strong ties to our communities and it's our families and friends who make up the communities. Our employees understand the importance of community support and look for opportunities on how we can get involved. They constantly guide our business on where we are most needed. I'd like to thank all of the First Nation communities for their incredible support. The support we have been given has enabled us to give support back in the most meaningful ways and we are so grateful. Um, as extra thank you, I'd like to invite our communities to reach out to GP Distributing as we would like to offer community barbecues for any event that they need support on this summer. I will personally run the barbecue as I'd love to connect and thank all of you personally. Thank you so much. Ooh, that's exciting. Congratulations to GP Distributing, sponsored by Cobalt Construction. That was the community spirit of the year. He's here in person. Awesome. Come on up. So they gave me two minutes to make a video. I only took a minute, so I'm gonna take one more quick minute. Um, this means a lot to our company. Um, I wanted to also let everyone know that our First Nation Community Council Development Corps have supported GP Distributing bigger than any other client in the Yukon that has been doing business with GP. And it means a lot to us, and that's why I wanna get out to the communities again. now. The, the pandemic's over, we can kind of get in there and, and, and support everybody a little bit more hands-on. And I'd love to see everybody out there this year. So thank you very much. Congratulations. So barbecue, barbecue. The gophers are out. Might have to invite him for barbecued gopher, barbecue salt. They're out, oh, serious, no joke. And they're really good. Actually, no, they're not good. Don't eat them. They're not good. 
All right, so for the last award, this is exciting because there's quite a few people who are in person for this one. This award is sponsored by Saul Vest, who, was, who actually did some uh, presentation today. This is the Top Indigenous Business of the Year Award, sponsored by Saul Vest. For the Alaska region, the winner is Huna Totem Incorporated, Russell Dick. As the president and CEO of Hunatonum Corporation, and on behalf of our 1,550 Alaska Native tribal members, I want to thank the Yukon First Nation Chamber of Commerce for recognizing our dedication to cultural tourism and 18 years of hard work building the Hunatonum tourism model in Alaska. And we are certainly honored and thrilled to receive the top Indigenous Business of the Year Award. For over 18 years, Hunatonum has been on a journey to develop our flagship asset, Icy Strait Point, into a world-class tourism destination. Since opening in 2004, Icy Strait Point had, has hosted over 2 million passengers and today receives ship calls from every major cruise line traveling to Alaska. We are the heartbeat of our community's economy as the single largest employer and contributor to local sales tax, having contributed over $60 million directly to the community of Huna over that 18-year period. We are passionate about the positive impact we have had on our community, the region, and the state, and catching the attention and support of national and international companies and travelers. Looking ahead to our partnership with the community of Whittier, Alaska, our joint venture with Doyon Limited, and other developments with other Native corporations, Huna Totem anticipates many more successful years reimagining the cultural tourism industry statewide here in Alaska. Huna Totem has much to be proud of and thankful for. Once again, we are thrilled to receive the top Indigenous Business of the Year Award. With this honor, Huna Totem is more obligated today to continue innovating, developing, and building value for our Native communities within tourism and the cruise industry, both in and outside of Alaska. Thank you. Congratulations, Huna Totem Corporation. Our next winner, who is in person, from British Columbia, Taltan, Taltan Nation Development Corporation. Hi everyone, it's, it's Paul Gruner, uh, CEO of Taltan Nation Development Corporation, otherwise known as TNDC. Just calling in here from uh, Dees Lake. Uh, Want to give a big thank you for this award and, and apologies for not being able to be there in person. Uh, we're getting right into our busy season here and unfortunately time is tight. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, TNDC and, and some of the highlights. Uh, just recently, we were recognized uh, in business in Vancouver uh, as being the uh, largest Indigenous uh, corporation operating in the province uh, by number of employees, uh, which I think is, is, is an amazing feat. Uh, another one that uh, is, is really impressive is just in terms of the size of the corporation from a revenue perspective, one of the largest corporations operating in Northwestern British Columbia, and probably in the top two or 3% of corporations in, in all of British Columbia. Uh, we've been heavily involved in a number of key projects, uh, and, and the ones I really want to highlight quickly here that I think are really cool is, is the development of the fiber optics that we're developing into the region over the next two years. That's driven through the corporation and, and the First Nation. will be an absolute game changer in terms of telecommunications and driven uh, from an Indigenous perspective, opening up education, health, uh, and, and business opportunities. Another one is the development of the Dees Lake Airport that we've now taken over the day-to-day -day operations of. Uh, we're going through certification from a federal perspective. Uh, and as a result uh, of, the, of the infrastructure development on site, we're able to offer key resources uh, uh, to our partners, in this case, Newcrest Mining, for shift change, et cetera, and cutting down on those cycle times, which is an amazing feat. We're getting through that certification over the next year or so. The last one that I think is really amazing uh, was the development back in the day of the hydroelectric where uh, the nation has uh, an equity position in. As a result of that, uh, one of our operating mines, Bruce Jack Mine, actually has the lowest GHG emissions per ounce produced in all of Canada and Australia. So true Indigenous partnership, environment, social governance and reducing those emissions, just an absolutely incredible feat around some of that. So I think with that, uh, it's a good little overview of TNDC. A big thank you, Madhu, uh, from here from Dees Lake uh, for this award. Uh, and a big congratulations to all the other winners. I uh, hope to see you all soon. 
I would like to invite Harlan to come up to accept the award on behalf of the Tall Town Nation Development Corporation. Is Harlan here? Well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, on behalf of, uh, actually, Jamie Gleason, who's, uh, we have a bit of a Yukon co content of uh, our management. Uh, Jamie Gleason was holding uh, a president for a couple of years, and he's turned it over to Paul recently. And, but the, the exciting thing about this whole thing is that uh, TNDC has a long history, as we started back in the early 1970s, kind of just when the terms of the Calder decision all came about. And so, uh, it's been a long time in working to become such a large organization and I'm one of 4,000 people who are uh, membership and I, I think they told me come up and accept the award on their behalf and I think it's important for that because it shows that they're doing it for the membership and for instance we have like 300 members living in Whitehorse and we have membership all through Canada. Uh, and uh, so it's very important that uh, we acknowledge the work that they've done and we appreciate the, them being honored. Thank you very much. The next winner for the Top Indigenous Business of the Year Award from Northwest Territories, Clincho Investment Corporation, Mark Brayer. Thanks to the Yukon First Nations Chamber of Commerce and the Arctic Indigenous Investment Conference uh, for awarding uh, Cleetro Investment Corporation, the Northwest Territories Indigenous Business of the Year. Uh, my name is Mark Breyer. I'm the CEO of TIC and our group of companies. I've been with TIC for almost five years. Uh, a lot of people don't know who we are, so I'll, I'll explain. We're part of the Cleetro region, which is between Great Slave and Great Bear Lakes in Northwest Territories which is around 39,000 square kilometers of Clicho territory, plus 60,000 kilometers of shared territory. Uh, the business mandate for TIC um, is really twofold, Clicho employment and sustained profitability. For those who don't know us, what we do, we build highways, winter roads, we have a construction company, mining services, uh, firefighting, engineering and environmental, equipment supply, uh, general stores, motels in the communities, uh, tourism, uh, utilities and telecom, and we own uh, things like Snare Dam. We have 12 wholly owned companies and 14 active joint ventures and a few others. Our Cleetro employment is about 64% of what we do, uh, and um, our Northern is about 92%. And that's for close to 400 people we carry uh, throughout the year. So I want to thank the management and the staff because none of this happens on one for one person or under one person's watch. Uh, we've spent a couple of years turning a, a very um, poor business around. Uh, we've pulled it back from a many years of losses and it was all done during the middle of a pandemic. It was a bad situation, which we turned around and made very good. I'm very proud of what we've done. And I look forward to continued growth and diversification as we move forward. This award means a lot to us where we are today and where we are going. And I want to especially thank uh, not only the staff and management team, but the board of directors, the Clicho government, and our chief executive council. Thank you. Congratulations, Clicho Investment Corporation. So that brings us to our last winner. And I'm actually very excited to announce this next winner. Uh, this, this runs in, uh, in person, so it's very exciting. So the winner from the Yukon Territory for the Top Indigenous Business of the Year Award goes to Kermode Consulting. I'd like to invite Lynn Hutton up to the front. Here she comes. Uh, 
so I didn't do a video. I played like I had no time because I thought, absolutely not. I have a lot to say to you people. <laughs> but then I decided I should be nice because look what I got. So I want to acknowledge this award. Anne Lewis and I started this conference and it was just me complaining about something or other. And somewhere along the way, Michelle Dawson Beatty and Albert said, let's do awards. And I thought, you guys do it. I have enough to do on my plate. And I never thought I would be a winner of this amazing award. So thank you. Our company is capacity support. So we really just say, how can we help? And so I need to acknowledge all those amazing clients that we have. And I want to especially acknowledge, of course, Yanni, because she's a rock star, and Mathia, of course, rock star, right? But I want to acknowledge Liard First Nation, who came all the way here just for this award, thank you, and Derek Lutz of Ionka Chica. So thank you for being here for this award. You helped us get it. And then, of course, I have staff here. I have Brenda Gonzalez, who is one of our teammates, and Michelle Dawson Beatty. And I just want to say to them, you put the extra in ordinary, and I'm so lucky to have you. And you did this. So thank you, team. And thank you, Chamber. Woohoo! Let's give it up for our award winners. All right, here is the fun part. So I love introducing this group, and I know they probably roll their eyes because I could talk about them all day. You can get their music on Spotify, on iTunes. They have music videos on YouTube of beautiful Kalani Lake. Their music is extremely inspiring. They have played stages all over Canada, all over the North. They have performed here many, many, many times at Aboriginal Day, the Adakon Festival, at Canada Day, and they have performed in their home community of Burwash. I'd like to introduce, ladies and gentlemen, Diet and the Love Soldiers. All right. Are you guys nice and warm? We were talking about how we forgot what it's like to feel warmth. I said I would never play a bar gig, but it's last call for alcohol. <laughs> In, <laughs> in case you're wanting. So how many of you here are not from the Yukon? Let's hear some, a little woohoo or a little hand. All right. Ah, there's so many here. Good. Jim, this mic is feed, feeding back just a little bit here. Well, my name is Diette, and these lovely gents up here are the Love Soldiers, and uh, we are certainly happy to be here tonight to play some music for you.
stand tall put on your brave face the saddest part of the dying heart springs round the deepest part of the living well don't fall you may be broken Hey, Jim, I'll get my voice in my monitor up a bit, please. What, you got the set I got Fearless Heart. Oh, Fearless Heart. So we grew up, uh, my siblings and I grew up in a little cabin or raised in a little cabin across Cloney Lake. Uh, and that cabin is a... Uh, old and small and a, probably a size of this stage just one room um, and you know we were, I was really small when we lived there but I it made such an impression on me that life and that uh, that life and that light over there looking across the lake to the metropolis of Burwash Landing and wondering what it would be like to live in the village the big city. This land's an ever-changing mass of rock and tree, water and dirt. I've been gone so long, seems my old home's been swallowed by the earth. The damp and cold has taken hold, forgotten toys become iron and rust. It was 
so many years ago Memories slowly turn to dust Ooh, never thought I'd find my way back to this place I've come back to find you, find you, find you Tell you everything's gonna be okay Yesterdays I never change and In this crumbling shelter Left as it is It's part of the story Not finished yet Its lines are carved in the wood So deep you won't forget Ooh Never thought I'd find my way back to this place Come back to find you, find you, find you Tell you everything's gonna be okay uh, ooh, Somehow we drifted apart But you knew one day, one day, one day I'd come back for you Little feeling Thank you very much, Sean Ethan. What you got next here, Robert? We're still here. We're still here? Kit Ankh is a new show called a thong. 
Tomorrow's going to be a good day. attempt something and we're going to try to sing around this mic. Uh, do a few songs for you there. Hey ya, 
Heya,
let's uh, do some other things. Okay. All right, thank you. So I was, uh, I was driving back home to Suan Munkei, Kluwani country. And it was, it was morning and the sun is just sort of peeking up, you know, from, the, from behind the mountains. And there's still snow on the ground and the lake is still frozen. And I just happened to look to the side and I saw a big paw just reach up and just stretch and then the other paw reach up and stretch and it was it was a grizzly and he's just waking up from his winter sleep coming down them from the mountains and he's contemplating whether or not to dig through that snow and find something to eat like the bear in the spring, in the spring, ready to claw her way out of the den. She's hungry, she's hungry, like the bird flying north after a long winter down south. It flies against the wind, flies against the wind. It's in our nature to live on this hard land. She can be tender, cold as ice. Here comes a wave. Here comes a wind. Here comes a pounding thunder. I'll remind her she can still shake the earth.
you can do boat liner. Good. What's that? Two little birds? Two little birds, yeah. Okay. We're going to get Bob and his pedal steel. We're going to do a tune for you called Two Little Birds. Thought we were living in the past Knew there was more beyond where the shadows cast So we made a pact to leave where the gravel meets the road and go We were two little birds in the front of a strong Johnny Thun, thank you. So let's do white flag. Do you want to do white flag? Yeah. All right. Or do you want to stay on the steel, Bob? Let's see. Stay on the steel or do you? Oh, you're good? Yeah. All right. Hey, Jim, I want to put uh, some of Robert's guitar, guitar in mine. Please just, just boost it up there if you wouldn't mind. Same sad story. Try 
tried to fix it from the inside In the end it's me standing by myself Nathan, thank you. Oh, we're going to do a couple more tunes for you guys tonight. Uh, this song, I'm going to uh, just get my rattle and. Um, Good evening, everyone. Before everyone heads home, I just wanted to say a few words. I wanted to say congratulations to all the Arctic Indigenous Investment Conference winners. It makes me so proud to see the vast array of goods and services offered 
the growth of indigenous business in the northern private sector, the employment you provide, and of course, what you give back to community. Like our logo presents, the Tina used to represent the human being, and it was made from shaped copper formed into the shield shape. When true wealth is treasured, is what this logo is titled, a way of representing the work that YFNCC does in supporting Indigenous people. The true wealth is the people behind the work. And once we begin to truly treasure the people who we find on our path, that's how we truly help someone. Valuing people for who they are is one of the greatest things we can do to support these who need help. Our own uniqueness is our greatest treasure. The wolf and the crow are holding that wealth and protecting it. So tonight, I want to thank our gala sponsors for their generosity and support. Our title sponsor, Scotiabank, Solvest, Strategies North, Victoria Gold, Horizon Helicopters, Chief Isaac, Group of Companies, BMC Minerals, Cobalt Construction, Doyon Limited, Summit Camps, Casino, Metallic Group of Companies, Panache Ventures, Klondike Wholesale, McHugh Engineering Contractors, and First Peoples Coffee. I also want to acknowledge everyone behind the scenes that made this awards gala possible. MC Luke Campbell, Wandering Bison, Yukon Rendezvous Society, Ruth Massey, Maddie Dixon, Diet and the Love Soldiers, Marsh Lake Tents and Events, the Kwanlin Dunn Cultural Center staff, Gunta Business, and of course the YFNCC comprised of Michelle Kola, Delmar Washington, Tiffany Eckert Murray, Yanni Djokic, Jesse Stevens, Les Wilson, Joey Cron. Mark Kepke, Emily Ross, Taylor Diekman, and, the, and to the one person who I believe that could make this all happen, Melissa Murray. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. So with that, have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, I knew she child, ooh, I'm uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, I knew she child, ooh, I'm
Și eu nici să-i. applause. This is Bob Hamilton. This is Robert Van Leeshout. They are the Love Soldiers. My name is Diet. I'm uh, happy to be here, happy to sing for you. We're going to sing this out. If you want to join, you can.
Nathan. Thank you. Thank you. Give it up for Diane and the Love Soldiers. Weren't they awesome? Thank you so much for UConn First Nation Chamber of Commerce for hosting tonight's award ceremony. I am going to announce the two last door prize winners. So we have Takini River Ranch donated a food hamper valued at $400 and Air North donated a round trip. I have the two winners here, and there's also, <laughs> I was watching some of you guys when you were on the app, and it was funny, I seen somebody got nicked down the list, and I looked right at him, and he was on the, he like was on the app watching himself go, Merp, and I was sitting with somebody whose name went, neat. <laughs> so, awesome for you guys for being on the app. So the three people who won, they are, I still have these door prize tickets here though. I'm gonna look on my phone, on the app. All right, so for first prize was the silver form line bracelet by Mark Preston, first prize. Granny Hanky Blue Fox Mitts by Minnie Clark. And the third prize was the really cool, oh, can't read that. It was the beaver, the beaver fur hat was the third prize. And the winners for first, second, and third were John Lafra, first prize, he won that bracelet. Adam, Gir Adam, Girl, won Adam Girl won second prize, sorry, Mr. President. And Georgina Whitney won third prize, she won the hat. Awesome, congratulations to the three winners. All right, so here's the Air North ticket and the $400 gift voucher for, or gift bag from Tikini River Ranch. So the first one for Tikini River Ranch, ticket number 075. 075. No way, did you guys, is that serious? Are you for real? Oh, okay. All right, so you have to be here. Does somebody seriously have it? Seriously? Bring it over. And the Air North Flight 034. 034, Air North. Zero, 034. That's why you had to stay to the end. 034. No. All right, okay, moving on, moving on. All right, 061. 061 for the return flight with Air North. Are you guys for real? They're not here, 061. There's tickets on tables. One, seven, three. All right, there's our winners. All right, and that concludes our awards gala for tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, there's lots of wine still left on the table. Don't let it go to waste, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your MC for tonight. Have a good night. Stay safe. Good night. <laughs>